Hey, Sam, thanks for joining us. Uh, we will uh, begin with Luciano. Go ahead. Hey, Sam, I hope we're doing well and thanks for your time. What led you to the decision to play in this bowl game and how close are you to that decision regarding next season? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it wasn't really a decision to be made when it comes down to playing the bowl game. Um, I mean, I just love this team um, and I love playing football. That's the main thing. It's, you know, I love this sport, um, so I, it wouldn't sit right for me um, not playing the bowl game. And, you know, I still have, I still have a lot of decisions um, to be made about my future. Um, it's just something I'm praying about, talking to my family about. But, you know, I love this team. I'm going to have so much fun um, being around these guys. And, you know, it's, it's something that I'm not – I truly I, – I didn't want NC State to be my last game or anything like that. I, I'm here for this team, um, and they're going to get everything I got. Um, the bowl game so I'm having a lot of fun I just had probably the most fun I've ever had at a practice um, so I'm enjoying it uh, I'm just thankful for this opportunity we get to play in a bowl game um, and we're just going to go there and give it our best shot Kirsten Clark Hey Sam um, you're kind of finishing your career at UNC the same way you started against the same team same stadium how are you feeling about that full circle moment Yeah I mean it's it, uh, it kind of all just comes full circle, um, you know. I mean, just playing that, that that was my first start playing in Charlotte, um, my hometown against South Carolina. Uh, that was a pretty cool game for us. Um, and being able to go there again um, and, and play those guys, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, and it's just it'll be cool to just kind of be back home. Um, a lot of people can come to the game and stuff, so it's just an awesome opportunity for us. So it's definitely something that I'm gonna try to take advantage of and just try to soak it all in. Michael Coe. Hey, Sam, what is sort of the defining memory you have of that first game against South Carolina a couple of years ago? Um, yeah, I mean, I have a ton of memories from that game. Um, probably the first one is I, I took a lot of hits in the first half. I was running around like it was high school, and uh, I kind of got some welcome to college football hits. And I, I remember sitting there at halftime hurting, hurting bad. Um, and But, no, nah, I mean, we, we, we went out in the second half with the right mindset. Um, and we had like two 95-yard drives or something in the fourth quarter um, to, to end up winning the game. It was just a lot of fun. Um, I, I had a great time down there. And just being able to fight with my guys and have a comeback like that and just how resilient our team was, it was just a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, probably the first touchdown I threw to um, that was a pretty cool memory. Um, you know, we're both from Charlotte. We spent a lot of time together. Um, then probably the last one to Bo. Um, that's probably one of my favorite favorite plays for my whole, whole career here at Carolina. Um, so it's definitely a cool, a cool experience. Thank you. Dina King. Hey, Sam. Got a recruiting question with the early signing day coming up on Wednesday. What's your thoughts on the class that Coach Brown and staff have assembled? Yeah, they're, they're doing an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, I let, a couple of those guys have been up here um, all throughout the season uh, this past weekend on official visits and stuff. And, they're doing a really good job recruiting. Uh, they're killing it, um, and we try to do the best we can when the when the players are here to you know, kind of show them what Carolina is all about. And you know, the, I mean, it's just really just a credit to the coaches um, and and how much time they're putting into it. Um, you know, Coach Brown kind of came here, and he, recruiting is a priority for him, a um, big priority, and especially in state. Um, they're and they're locking down the state. They're doing an unbelievable job. Um, so I mean, all we all we can try to do is try to win as many games as possible um, and help 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 them recruit. Um, but now they're doing an unbelievable job. So it's super exciting. Um, and I'm just kind of proud to be proud to be a part of this program. Thank you. Andrew Jones. Hey, Sam, going back to your uh, Mayo tweet last week. Uh, did you do that because of all the speculation that was bouncing around and you felt like you needed to kind of put an end to it? And if so, how long had you been thinking about maybe if you were going to tweet something out that that was the kind of tweet you were going to do? Yeah, I mean, I, there was a lot of speculation out there. Uh, people probably, you know, I, all the advice I got was probably to not play in the bowl game. Um, and then everyone probably expected me not to. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to end, it all, end all that and kind of let everyone know that this, this is what I want to do um, and I'm here for this team. And there's actually a lot of thought put into how I wanted to, you know, get that information out there. I wanted to do something kind of funny, but I, we probably thought about it for, uh, I was texting Jeremy about it, seeing what he thought, and we were kind of bouncing ideas off each other, ha trying to have some fun with it. Uh, but no, I'm super excited. I um, mean, couldn't couldn't write any better. I'm um, going back to Charlotte, playing South Carolina. So it's just an incredible opportunity. Um, I'm super thankful for um, just to be in this position. So definitely want to take advantage of it. 
what kind of tech skills do you have? Did you create or did you have to have someone else create it? And, and how, what was that process like kind of deciding on that specific tweet? Yeah, well, I, I found that one and, and, uh, and made a decision on it, but you know, I was just kind of looking around at all the little, the little, I don't even know what it's called, like, um, gifts or whatever it's called. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> kind of looking through those and, and trying to find a cool one, but me and Jeremy kind of sending them back and forth and stuff. And we both had some really good ideas, but ultimately I, I ended up finding that one. Um, and, and just thought it'd be something funny. Cool. Thank you. Ross. Hey, Sam, the, the, the power of PR and a uh, Homer Simpson Mayo Jeff. Um, with uh with the bowl game is there is there a um idea to maybe show i mean I'm, you know obviously you haven't announced anything about nfl but kind of show that the type of player you are that you are not opting out you're opting in and you're, you're the toughest to play in the game and, and and your love for football is that kind of some motivation to, to let some nfl people know where you stand yeah i mean i, I think um that's definitely one way you can look at it. that's not what you know drove me to, to this decision was for me trying to show Mm -hmm. You know, I'm here for my team. Uh, I think the reality of reality of it is, I mean, I'm I am here for my team. I'm not doing this just because I want to show people that that's what I'm about. You know, I that's just truly who I am. Uh, I pride I pride myself on uh, being a good teammate and always being here for these guys. And it just wouldn't sit right for me, you know, kind of giving giving up on the season. Uh, you know, no, no matter what's at no matter what's at stake. Uh, you know, I'm a true believer that God has a plan for me and has a plan for all of us. Um, and I'm going to just do everything I can and, you know, just kind of follow his lead and give him the glory along the way. And you mentioned there were some people maybe in your ear that sitting out would have been that people encouraging you to do that. I mean, how powerful was that, Jeb? A lot of people saying the move was to sit out or what would that process look like? Because, I mean, last year you had four players sat out for UNC in the bowl game. So obviously that's something that's, you know, happened for UNC recently. Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's something that definitely makes a lot of sense when you really look at the – we really look at what's at risk and all that. But, you know, like I said, man, I'm, I'm here for this team. Um, and I just feel like as a quarterback of this team and as a leader of this team, it just, it's just kind of not the right thing. You know, even if it w is the best decision for me in my career to, to opt out in the game, and it, it, it's still, it's not, it's not about me. Um, and people could say I'm, I'm in a position where I, I can be, be selfish and make that, make that decision. But, you know, that's just not who I am. Um, and I just truly want to be here for this team. And bowl games are fun. I've, I've enjoyed the two we've played in, um, and, you know, I, I really just want to spend more time with the guys on this team as well and go out there with them. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for it. Uh, like I said, man, I'm, I've been having a lot of fun. We've been having a lot of offense, defense competitions in practice. Um, we had one day. It was a lot of fun, probably the most fun I've ever had at practice. So I'm definitely enjoying it and just trying to take advantage of the opportunity we have. Great, thanks. Our last question today will come from C.L. Brown. Go ahead. Hey, Sam, I, I wanted to see if you could uh, take me back to that first start in 2019. And what do you feel like, if anything, that you proved to yourself in that first college game? Yeah, I mean, honestly, um, going into it, I really didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know, it'd be my first start. And I really didn't know if our team was any good or not, uh, just because it was my first, it was only you know, we, we went through spring ball and fall camp, and, you know, I really didn't know what a good college team looked like in practice. Um, so I didn't know if we were going to go out there and, you know, beat South Carolina by 30 or lose by 40. Um, I really didn't know what to expect going into the game. I just knew we, we had a good plan. We were going to go out there and give it all we got. Um, but, you know, it, it, was, it was super exciting. You know, obviously I, it was, there were some nerves there. I was a little nervous. Um, and, you know, I, I just learned so much about myself and really this team as a whole. Um, or that team and uh, how how resilient we were on um, how those two fourth quarter 90 plus yard drives to ultimately win the game um, and the defense stepped up make some plays I think Miles Miles Wolfick had two picks um, and you know it was just it was a lot of fun being down there back home um, but I just learned so much about myself um, and this team you know just just to never give up you know as hard as it gets you know it was a hard game for me physically um, I wasn't prepared from you know a hydration standpoint just because I've never been through something that hard physically um, and I was cramping starting the third quarter I almost had to go to the locker room take some IVs I ended up not having to um, but it, it was just a tough game and you know I was able to battle through it so I just learned a lot about, a lot about myself in that game and what would you say I mean obviously you set the, the passing records uh, you know most yards most total offense and everything in, in history at UNC but what do you feel like your legacy will be at Carolina and and do you feel like 
you know, participate, coming back from injury, participating, even participating in this bowl game that will be a part of what you want to be remembered by. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to, you know, kind of be a part of the change and be be part of the reason this program turns around um, and just following Coach Brown's leadership and just trying to give this school everything I can um, just to, you know, help this program get get back to where it should be. Um, you know, with that, I just try to, I just try to, my whole time here, I try to come here every day and, you know, just try to make everyone around me better um, and try to set the standard, you know, of, of just working hard and just always doing the right thing, being on time and just controlling the little things, control everything you control um, and just trying to, maximize your potential and trying to do trying to be the best you um, just try to be the best version of yourself and that's just what I've tried to do um, for all my teammates you know I promise I'm being a good teammate you know just always being there for them um, but you know truly just trying to set the standard uh, for the future and just be a part of that turnaround is probably what I pride myself on uh, when it comes to legacy.